Hello everybody. Somebody left a comment on my channel the other day talking about, said, hey Alan, do you have many broken bonnet handles on the Mark V Mondeo? And I thought to myself, flippy neck, yes I do. And that one's slipped under the radar, hasn't it? Yeah, we have plenty. And I'll tell you something, I broke at least two of them bonnet handles myself. Well, actually, it's not the bonnet handle that breaks, although it looks like it's the handle. So what I thought I'd show you is, if you get one of these broken bonnet handles on a Mark V Mondeo, I'll show you what you need and how to fix it just quickly. Because the actual handle is not broken on this car, I'll just show you how it comes apart and what you'd have to actually change. But you'd need a little pick like that, so you can get in there and pop that little cap off. Now I can't really show this, but I'll, I'll let you see it once I get the handle off. But there are two, inside there, there are two little lugs. Let's get my torch in place. Yeah, there's two little lugs in there, and you've got to put your screwdriver in there and flick one of the lugs, and at the same time, have one of your hands behind the handle trying to pull it this way towards you. And once you flick the first, well, squash the first lug in, then you've got to get the screwdriver and squash the second lug in, and then this will come off like that. I've made it easy, so I rather than because you can like mess around a little while trying to do that, it's not exactly easy. And that is your bonnet handle. The handles don't break, so when this is actually sitting in your car like that, <laughs> it's actually this part here that snaps off, okay, with the lugs on it. Do you see them little lugs? There's two of them, little squidgy lugs. So that's what you've got to push in, like that. But anyway, this is this little section is a bit that breaks, and it will stay inside your handle. So you've got to remove you've got to remove this part from your handle once you've taken it off the car. But that's just the first step. Once you get your what you oh, actually, I'll show you now what you need to buy if you get this situation and how to change it. So what you actually need to purchase is a complete new bonnet cable. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. But all you, all you really want is the little end piece that the cable goes onto. So when you get your new cable, you disconnect the cable from this little attachment and you're only going to use that, that end piece. And that is the Ford part number for the cable you need. If you want to make your life as easy as possible, you need a trim tool underneath your like door kick plate and pop that plate up. They are on <laughs> pretty tight, but if you can remove that, get out of the way. Then you're going to have a little popper there. So hopefully get that unclipped and then you can pull this panel out, which comes up your A-pillar. You'll probably have to remove the trim on the end of your dash, which just pops out anyway with a trim tool. Much like though. <laughs> it's, it's all a bit of a, but you see that, then you can remove that bottom panel. There. That piece there. The reason why I'm saying remove all these trim panels is because it makes life so much easier. You can do it without doing all this. You can just pull the carpet down if you wanted to, but you'll be struggling in limited space. So I'll get this clip out of the way. Now I can pull the whole carpet right out of the bloody way so we can see what we're doing. And we've got one little eight mil screw there, which I need to undo. That's it. Now, if my memory is correct, this doesn't just pull straight off. I think you've got to push it upwards, like so. Once you push it up, then you can pull it towards you and it will come out. The reason being, there's that little tab there and you see how it goes in. It slides in, then goes down when you put it back in. But when you've got to this, this position here, we now need to remove that cable. You really need to open your bonnet to do this job. So if you've got a pair of long nose pliers, you can grab hold of that cable, because this will be broken in your car. Grab your long nose pliers on the cable where the ball bit is and pull that, okay? And that'll open your bonnet. 
and then if I come underneath the bonnet you see this little unit here where your cable goes into there's one tab there and one tab there you'll see them anyway you just got to pop them in and then that little bit just there you flick that back and this piece will lift off like that it's even got a little hook on it so you can't lose it so take that top bit off and then you can see your cable and all you do if I can get my pliers is is to pull that cable there out like that so now that will give us when we pull the cable from inside the car that will give us a lot of extra cable to play with nearly there where the outer cable goes into this little unit assembly here you can just prise that off so that will pop out like so all you've got to do now you can get your finger and you can push this round like that but you can get your long nose pliers on the cable now and remove the cable from this unit so that will come out like that the only thing i will say is that when when you fit the new cable back into this you have to pull this lever around and you need a long pair well a pair of long nose pliers and you have to bend the cable around to actually fit in that slot it's a little bit tricky but i mean <laughs> with a little bit of perseverance i'm sure you'll be able to fit it on but that's all i wanted to show just to answer that guy's question is yes uh, we have quite a few of these broken i've leant over from the driver's seat and pulled the bloody bonnet handle and because i pulled it at the wrong angle it's just it snapped it snapped that little lug there and obviously you think it's the handle you need but it's not the handle you need the handle is perfectly fine <laughs> it's just that little tab bit that goes into the handle that snaps off so you need to buy yourself a new cable but anyway you've got the part number anyway and you now know you've got to push them little tabs in to release the handle from this piece here so I hope that's answered the question but I'll just say this again when you fit the cable back onto this bit here you have to you really do need a pair of long nose pliers so you can actually pull the cable and twist it round so it will fit back into there because there's that little slot it's a little bit fiddly but because you've disconnected the cable under the bonnet it gives you enough cable to, to play with if you don't disconnect it under the bonnet you're not going to have enough cable and you probably end up by buggering your cable up anyway and then you have to replace the whole lot but yeah i know it seems a waste buying a brand new cable but you don't need to fit the brand new cable i have never had one of them cables as yet seize up i know on some of the mark fours we had broken cables and all that but that, that hasn't happened on the mark five and there's nowhere for it to seize up anyway so I wouldn't replace the cable, I'll just replace the bit you need to replace. It's a whole lot easier. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching anybody. Any comments, leave them below and I'll try and answer them. See you in the next one. Adios.